No money spent episode three. It's time for it. Let's get into it. So we're starting off today's episode with the first locker code of the year, which is actually pretty damn exciting. So uh, for those who don't enter locker codes, you go over um, to this first page. Oh, we're leveling up as well. Um, you head over to this first page, you head on to the My Team Community Hub, and then you just go down to the locker code section right there. Super easy. So the first locker code that we have, I'm gonna have to look down uh, to type this in. It expires the 12th of September. So if you're watching it uh, that day, I think you still should be able to put it in. Uh, but if you're watching any other day after the 13th, the 14th, whatever it is, uh, I apo my apologies, but it, it, it does not work. And it's because there's like a limited time um, thing going on for it. Um, so sadly, I forget it's 2K day, you know, you 2K day only lasts for, I guess, but for this weekend. So it's uh, 2K day dash in dash my team at dash NBA 2K23. So we'll type that in uh, really quick. And oh okay we don't get anything <laughs> you actually end up getting uh, a pack right in here it is a 2k day option pack which is actually pretty cool and we can go ahead and throw it on open and the option pack is actually going to be for a patrick ewing a larry bird a lebron james a free agent now i already actually have ewing lebron or i actually have larry and lebron um and plus four midi is not really too useful patrick ewing free agent is not really too useful so i think the best thing that you should do is just get another one of these kobe ford devin booker pe's they're a nice looking shoe um and i think a lot of people uh will like using them so we're kind of just gonna have that and i also have the season one of volume ruby player we have some that we kind of need so i'm looking forward to getting some of these guys that's one that we needed dino raj you guys will see why that's actually really hype right actually right now so uh, if you guys didn't know, there's these season one players that you get from those packs. And I may actually use some of my NBA series one uh, or any, any like duplicate gold cards that I don't want to use uh, for that. So in these season one cards, there's a mystery player, mystery diamond player. They're going to be able to get once you lock in a certain amount of cards. Um, you can see from the pack opening that we did a little bit. We have Paul Silas, Katina Mobley, Robert Reed, Cedric Maxwell, ML Carr, Cedric Zabalos. And there's a few other cards that we can end up getting. Then there's a season one volume one at Chris Mullen, who is a crazy, crazy good card. Um, if you get him, I have all of the gold, emerald, I'm uh, missing Norm Nixon, and I do have Rudy Gay. But I got really lucky with Kevin Love. I got everybody except for Dino, Paul Millsap, and Rajon Rondo, and we just pulled Bra Dino Raja, which is huge because I love, love, love me some Dino Raja. Oh, he's got some nice all around stats. I might be able to find a, find a spot for him on the team. Uh, but now all we need is Paul Millsap and Rajon Rondo, and we can lock in for Kevin Love, who is a big man who can stroke the ball, I guess we'll say. I'm actually going to look up his uh, stats right now to tell you why he's like super exciting. Um, Kevin Love, 6'10", 6 6'11", 6 um, has bronze limitless, silver guard up, gold catch and shoot, gold claymore, which is really nice, Hall of Fame break starter, has brick wall on gold and rebound chase, a really high strength, and he's obviously just going to have a money release and a really fun card. So the problem with these guys, though, is that uh, Rajon Rondo is going for a bit of MT, and I don't exactly know if I want to spend 20k MT to get Rajon Rondo. Uh, so that's a little bit tough. We are missing out on Paul Millsap as well, but he's only a few K MT. So um, a way that you can actually expediate that process a little bit is in the exchange. You can see in players, you can get a season one, a volume one uh, player of every single kind. Um, and I think that may actually just be there so you can do two of them, which is kind of cool. Now you have to have 10 rubies to get the amethyst, which is a little bit tough. I don't have 10 rubies, uh, but overall, it's not too bad. So I'll think about it. Now, the one thing that we do have to do today is the last day to compete in limited. I only have 14 hours left, um, and it's going to be using two amethyst or higher, and everybody else needs to be a ruby or lower. So let's just make a quick little team and uh, see what we got. So we'll make a new lineup right here, and uh, I guess just have some fun with it. So uh, we can use, what, two amethyst, correct? Two amethyst or higher. So obviously the amethyst that we're going to use, uh, number one, is going to be Steph Curry. I think our ruby shooting guard has got to be Jimmy Buckets. The guy is just an absolute menace. And the other amethyst, um, ew, ew, it's tough. I do like using Giannis, but I think I might actually lean towards Julius Randle. Got a bit of a better jumper. Um, we will use Joel Embiid there. And um, let me let me tweak this a little bit, and I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, here's our lineup. Um, I ended up throwing Paul Silas in there because this guy is a crazy defender. Um, and then we also have, you know, Ja, Devin Booker, Cameron Johnson, Rudy Gay, and Dino Raja to round the bench. Um, we're going to set that as our active lineup. So the cool thing that I actually also did as well is I sent some cards to the card grading service. So I figured we could just kind of open up these guys, um, see if we get anything good um, on any of them just because, you know, we can. Ooh, ooh a 9.5 on Waldy Walker. Nice little uh, 
medium bonus i think that was as well 9.25 on kevin will oh, a small bonus right there nothing crazy um these are our first card grades of the year so we're kind of hoping for something good out there near mint on boyan bogdanovich let's see the next one good on jared vanderbilt we have a jordan clarkson with another good only a 7.0 that's not exactly fun um excellent and 8.0 i want to call that excellent on mike conley xavier sneed a 9.5 still a small bonus though with like a little bit more empty out of that i'm at a 9.25 out of d'angelo russell so the best that we got is just a small um boost that's nothing crazy um i don't quite know if i want to send any more cards to the card grading i'm probably just going to keep them as we have and just kind of go with it so uh yeah we have our unlimited lineup or we have our limited lineup so let's just hop into it try to get some dubs if you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grinded, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. All right, here's the card we're going up against. AO, Steph Curry, PJ Tucker, Joel Embiid, and Desmond Mason. That PJ Tucker is scary. He's probably the best shooter in the entire game that's not named Steph, and he's a gold. Uh, so crazy times. We're just going to have some fun uh, with this limited lineup and try to get our first ring of the year. We can't forget about limited. Um, one of the more slept on modes in the game right now. And our guy is just uh, not playing the defense that he's supposed to. We got Joel and now Julius out there. Let's see if we got a time with that. Mm. Ooh, that's a, little, that's a little too early. There we go. Good defense out of Steph. Let's give it back uh, to the man Steph himself. I don't, well, I don't really don't know where this guy is running to. Ooh, Paul Salas is actually the one open in the paint. And boom, easy little layup for him right there. Not too bad. There we go. Beautiful defense. And now we got Steph of all people uh, running it up. And AO doesn't really seem to want to do too much with him. Steph, cook it. Oh, all right. I did that just because I thought it'd be uh, too fun to have. But now we got Joel in the paint. Still to finish that Evo. So I guess we'll get some dunks um, and get some points with him. And ooh, no steals. All right. There's more shutting down of Steph. Fourth rebound for Julius Randle. And I need to kind of uh, kick it up at least a little bit. There he is. Open right there. Julius bang it out there we go julius randall the first green light of the game looking good and ooh, that should have been a step steal julius randall i need to put this guy in my domination lineup he actually um is getting every rebound possible and now Steph wide open himself that is the easiest greens of your life 10-0 start to the first limited game of the season it's too easy Okay, our guy threw a full court pass and then um, quit the game. So we have our first little uh, Philippi Floppies. I guess I'll just kind of, after this one, if we don't get it, I'll just do some highlights and then... Uh... <laughs> first try! Here we go! First try for the limited ring. I, I love how uh, quick we got that 15... You get the prizes as you go this year massive w that one of the best changes they've ever made you get the 15 tokens right off the rip uh two limitless and a diamond prize ball that that is amazing so what we're going to do with our tokens uh because it just makes the most sense um is first collect whatever that is um and second head over to the token markets and then we are going to keep picking up some cards that we're going to need uh for some future collections so i'm finishing off this minnesota timberwolves one right here the franchise option pack is what we're going to select and then uh, i've already done all of the i think 15 tokens one um, and the last one that we need is actually this Nathan Knight right here because we already have a Jordan McLaughlin. So we just, boom, select Nathan Knight as our last card to add to the collection. And there's actually a reason that we're doing this. So uh, it's to finish off the trophy case. So we uh, can just get rid of that logo real quick. And what we've actually done is in the NBA Series 1, we finished the uh, the Jazz off camera for a different video um, to get this Carl Malone's MVP trophy. And we're actually going to finish now the... Uh, Kevin loves most improved player trophy that we can now add it to our trophy case for the Minnesota Timberwolves because not only does this add to our collect level getting all those cards but what it also does is it gives us more trophies for more of these cards this one being Wally Zerbiak and there's actually a reason that I'm doing this um, I wanted to get Gordon Hayward because he looks like a really fun card so what you're supposed to do is you actually get um, a certain amount of trophy case cards um, every single time. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can only get five per, I think, season for right now. Um, the first thing that you'll see, uh, the reason behind this, I guess it is, um, is so you don't get too many Galaxy Opals right off the rip. But at 250 wins right here in Triple Threat Offline, you get a centerpiece exchange. There's only five centerpiece exchanges in the entire game right now, this being one of them. Another one is going to be in Unlimited. Um, I haven't actually opened up Unlimited yet, so I can't quite show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but if you go over through these rewards, you can see some... Uh, 
pretty cool things and at 6000 there's another centerpiece so there's five total in the game uh, which means you can only and you need these ones in order to finish out these collections um the centerpiece i think is going to be like d rose's mvp trophy for this one uh, for the jazz i'm pretty sure it's um uh, the championship or the defensive player of the year trophy one of the two um, and essentially you can only get five of these and lock these in so what you should do is plan it accordingly to what you want because i want hayward i'm going to make sure that i also only get the ones that line up with the other ones in his group so Wally Zerbiak, Westbrook, Sabonis, and Matumbo go along with Hayward to get us Clyde Drexler so that's what you should do like for example if you're getting uh, Derek Rose you should also get Jennings, Ogowskis, Hamilton, and O'Neal obviously you can get everybody but these are the ones that you should prioritize so that's what we're doing uh so uh the other cards that I need to get are obviously Westbrook so the next one we'll use with our uh, series one is going to be the Thunder um so it'll be a pretty nice time to just go ahead and get some of those in the token market because the Thunder are also super cheap as well. Um, and it doesn't bother me any. The other way that you can do these as well is in the exchange. If you have some of the um, cards and option packs, you can go ahead and submit them in to the exchange to get some of them, which is also um, really, really nice for those of you who want to fit these trophy cases, which I think is most of us. So um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the episode uh, explaining how the trophy case works um, and getting our first ring and unlimited off our first quit after only 10 points in the game. That is crazy. Um, I think what I want to do pretty soon is try out this draft mode. We'll have to see fully. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments section below. Again, enter that locker code before it expires and go out there and get those limited rings because it seems like the odds are pretty juiced. And once you get that first ring, you get 15 tokens. Make sure you keep up on those because you get rewards as you go. You don't to skip out on a week and get the hall of fame badge you just get them all massive w2k for that um like the video check out the other videos posted today like how to finish finish domination subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video